Chernobyl, Dead City, Radiation and Mutants, thousands of abandoned houses, 200,000 evacuated people, and 30 kilometer radioactive wasteland called Chernobyl Exclusion Zone. The biggest nuclear disaster of all times and a bitter reminder for future generations. Kyiv, Consumer Electronics Entertainment Exposi Ex Exposition 2019. My first game exhibition and my first meeting with augmented reality, virtual posters, famous game characters, and other futuristic stuff. I was amazed and shocked by all this colorful house. So what unites these two events? The augmented reality, the, the technology that augments the real world with um, virtual objects. And you will ask, why Chernobyl, not Kyiv, or other interesting place? Dance with Stalker. Known uh, the world, uh, the world known for many people, and my first video game I played in. I spent hours exploring Pripyat, real-sized model Chernobyl nuclear power plant, and other real-life objects modeled as in-game locations. This year was horrible. The biggest forest fire burned down many sides of Chernobyl zone. The summer camp in Zumrudne was a beautiful place with unusual paintings on house walls. Now it's the ashes, but it's still alive in game. So I decided to create a program that gives us possibility to see the past, the past of Chernobyl zone, to feel the disaster, and even to take part in some historical moments. How does it work? At the Wargaming Tank Fest in 2017 in Bovin uh, the main exhibit was the Sturm Tiger. 66 tons heavy infantry support vehicle with 380 mm howitzer. For some reason, it was impossible to deliver to Ukraine to the tank fest, uh, to the Gamma Fest that was also supported by Wargaming. So they used argument reality. They created a 3D model, and any, anybody who wear special glasses could see. Without glasses, you see an empty place, and when you use them, the real size tank appears in front of you and you even can see what's inside of it. AR in Chernobyl works the same. On special prepared location, we place several sensors. They're the tops of the imaging cube. And this cube is like a 3D room. User moves inside and uh, sensors uh, track the position and range of view. Then there are and objects that have been already set overlays the real landscape. It creates a gimmick reality. So you can see the world, but with some extra details. But only if you wear glasses. Each area has its own objects that have already been set before. Let's visit some of them. First in line, the road from Pripyat to Kiev. This observation called, uh, called the road away on 27th of April, 1968. At 4 p.m., hundreds of buses were evacuating the city population. The government says that, see, uh, that people can return home three days later. After 35 years, the city is still empty. Next observation points are located near Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Point number two, called Sarkofag, is right next to the building of the fourth core. Here we can see how it looked before the explosion. And two constructions built above it to prevent the radiation spread. First, cold shelter and was built in November 1968 and more known as Sarkofag. The second was built in uh, July 2019. The official name is New Safe Confinement, but more common name is Arca. It hides uh, the exploded core and the sarcophag inside, and it will stand for the next 100 years. Third point is on the other side of the Kulin Pond. It's named the same as Chernobyl nuclear power plant. And AR gives us the possibility to see how the core exploded on 26th of April, 1968. Impressive, isn't it? Unfortunately, it's just a small project, but anybody who wants to take a part can create his own location. AR gives us opportunity uh, to see not only history, but how it was and even alternative to these events. Next, a uh, new extra vision of the world. Thank you for attention.